on this video we're going to cover a polyline stakeout. So here's my job, I am fixed, and there's where I am on the site. So I'm going to zoom in by hitting the plus zoom sign, and I'm going to make sure I have my selector tool, and I'm going to highlight the polyline. We can see we're dotted. So now we just go into survey, stakeout, polyline. And now you can see this is generally always going to pop up because our polyline is segmented. So what you can do is you can either only do that segment or you can do the entire polyline. It depends on what you're working. I'm just going to say no because I want to do the entire polyline. And now what comes up is our options. Okay, You can see in our drop down, we have a few different things to choose. Running station, that's just going to give us our cut fill and where we are in, on the station of that line. Closest transition point is it's going to stake out to the closest transition, so when the line makes a turn. Transition points, this will allow us to select which transition point or corner we want to select to. And then interval points. Interval points give us, we can do every 50 feet, every 20 feet. It's basically the same thing as watching your running station, except for it's going to give you each specified distance. Transition and interval give you both. And then specific station. You can select, I need to, I need to stake out station 400. So we're just going to keep it on running station. We are using the polyline. And then my horizontal offset, I'm going to actually say that I want to do a negative, or I'm going to do a positive three foot offset. Now negative and positive depends on how the polyline is drawn. And you can see that by the arrow that it creates on the polyline. Right is positive, left is negative. So this should create a three foot offset on the screen that we were looking at it to the left of it but because the arrow is pointing down, it's a positive. I hit OK. It's going to confirm our cut fill, yes. And we can see that when we zoom in, there's the polyline, the solid one. And then here, the dotted one, is our offset. It's created a new line. So if I, if I move to here, now you would just walk here. If I move here, you can see, go right a tenth of a foot and as you go along it'll show you go right to tenth of a foot and now this is saying my cut and fill to the surface 